Daniel and Alan have set up the Thunder House, which is filled with gunpowder, whose chemical composition is 75% potassium nitrate, KNO3, 15% charcoal, C, and 10% sulfur, S. Alan is using a hand-cranked Wimshurst electrostatic generator to build up charges that result in a high voltage. When he turns the hand crank, the electrostatic generator converts the mechanical energy from turning the crank into electrical energy. As Alan continues to turn the crank, it generates such a high voltage that it ionizes the air, allowing us to see the electric discharge as a long electric spark jumping between the discharging balls. This electric spark is the same in nature as the lightning we see in a thunderstorm. Over at the Thunder House, this discharging ball is connected to the high voltage ball that we just saw, so it has the same high voltage, and the ball that represents a lightning rod on the house is grounded, meaning that it is connected by a wire to the ground. This is how a lightning rod protects a building from a lightning strike. The lightning strikes the rod and is conducted through the wire to a grounding rod in the earth rather than into the building. What do you think will happen if we disconnect the wire? Now let's see what happens. What is it that's actually triggering the reaction? And now, in slow motion, you can see that it really is the spark jumping, the lightning strike, that triggers the explosion because that's when the electrical energy is transferred to the gunpowder inside the house.